Yeah, Yo, what's up? It's a little bit of behind the scenes. So every morning before I go to practice, it's currently 8.14. Every morning before I go to practice, I get and get ready and uploading the video because that's why they've been coming out a, bit, a little bit later than usual because I haven't had time to do them at night because it's so late and I need to get sleep because um, I got practice in the morning. So I've been trying to get done when I wake up. So I wake up a little earlier than I need to try and get this thing done. Um, I got practice at eight fifty though, so I really don't have long. But think about these spell. I I, I haven't given y'all enough clips lately, man. I'm sorry, y'all. It's not even really a vlog anymore. It's really just whatever I have time to show. Correction, whatever I'm brave enough to pull my camera out and show. Cause sometimes I just don't feel like pulling the camera out, bro. I'll be honest. That's really what it is. Um, either way though, I'm, 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 I'm gonna get better with it. Trust me, get on me. I'm saying, but AB, hey, bro, the videos are good. You know what I'm saying? We love the word, but hey, man, we want to see some clips. I got you. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to work on that. Trust me. We're going to do better. Um, but regardless, though, um, yeah, so this is what I do in the morning. I got a heat pad on my legs right now because y'all do training camp is no joke. Uh, we put in install to a place uh, last night. And, of course, I play a position where, like, um, we come in for the tight end, basically and a receiver and that's what I, we got we just implemented that so we're i'm going from like a couple reps to like let's run everyone you know what i'm saying so i'm about to have it's about to be a good time i can't complain about none um i'm about to run flood it's called uh, i'm not going too much too much into death um but yeah that's what's gonna happen so <laughs> bro i talk too much let me let me just get back back to this the grand marshal is getting youtube clipped by some random guy Steve. is sam houston a real school Yes, I'm mm -hmm. the same piece of real school. I've never heard of that crap. Dude, first clip of the day, and this dude's just getting destroyed. You're getting routed up by Sam Houston right now. How's that feel? The best defender of the 70 overall coverage. That's terrible. How am I getting to this? <laughs> How? I'm up 8 0. Bro. You're up 8 0, but you let Buddy give it a, go punt the ball to you, and then you dropped it. He smacked you. Okay, bro. You didn't get that on camera, though. I didn't. I That's didn't. Right. Watch this, though. TD, right there. Look, you see him in the corner? He's wide open, dude. That guy's terrible. He's wide open. He's a wide open guy. Oh, oh my gosh. Chill. <laughs> getting dead in. He's getting done dirty. I actually lose it. You actually lose it. Look at me. Terrible. Uh, hilarious. Look, he's with that. He's at spin move. Yep. Sam Houston. I've never heard of that Bearcats. school. Bearcats. Look how they spell it. With a K? Yes. Yo, I'm calling it right now. Touchdown to the right. Tight end. Oh, right back. Oh. oh, did I call it? All right, this guy either is really good or really bad. I can't tell. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. I really don't know what he's doing either. Dude, he was literally coming out in like punt block defense earlier. I don't know what was going on. I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, he's bad. No, he's bad. All right. I thought, I thought more of him. I thought less of you. That's what it was. My fault. Or, or, oh, you put him in man. Shoot. Okay, Marsh. Okay, Marsh. <coughs> what is that? Gotta send pressure. That'd be crazy if he was trolling you this entire time. Gotta just, send pressure. Maybe he has a play he's what he, he needs to run, but only works like if it's dip, dip, deep. I called it. I no. literally called it. Oh my gosh. Oh, we left backside wide. Oh, man. <laughs> Ain't no way. Fourth and 22. He had a gritty on him. <gasps> Marsh, you got Jay Jetted on. Oh, that's tough. <laughs> Don't you know, I go to a drive through and you say something and the person doesn't respond? Oh, water. <laughs> That's it. Appreciate it. Uh, I got his number, I like by the that way. Dude, he pretty quick. He quick, but he was signed up for like 15 minutes. Oh, that's nice. Uh, is this Lincoln? Yeah. Ooh. Oh. So, y'all. Hmm? Oh. Let me show y'all. So. I haven't finished the chair completely yet. Still got to put the bottom. I got to put the um, backrest part, but you know what I'm saying? Ooh, we're almost there. Just got to put the little seat thing here. 
and I'm chilling. But yeah, so the boy got a ah, the boy got his own chair now. So yes, sir, I'm him. Look, and first time washing my clothes being here. It hadn't even been a week yet. I already got clothes washed. Y'all, we're on a fishing nest. Look, got my clothes hanged up, hung up, and I got, you know what I'm saying, clothes in here. Yeah. Dude, I'm I'm on timing this year. Trust me. I'm on timing. Uh things are gonna go great. Ooh, washed. Ooh, this. Oh shoot trip. Washed cups, washed plates. Ain't nobody messing with me this year, y'all. I feel different. I feel like him. Oh my gosh. New slides. Like what are we what are we on? What is this? That's not me. It can't be me. I don't ever do this stuff. Man, I'm telling you, things are different this year. Things are so different this year. Um, but man, it's so late. It's so late. I need to go ahead and get in bed. Oh my goodness. I'm just, I mean, I'm so happy to be back, y'all. Like y'all don't understand. Um, things are just I'm in my own space. Just me, and I just love to quiet. I love just just listen. That sound right there, silence. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. If I went around and did a poll and I asked anybody and everybody in this world, would you rather be live or die? I can guarantee that majority people would say live. Yet the saddest thing is that on this earth today, I am quite sure that majority of people have chosen to live as an eternal death. Most people would rather live their lives separated from God than with him. And one thing that we know is, why, why do I assume that? It's because many of us have not turned our lives over to God and turned our eyes away from our sin. See, while reading Ezekiel, the 25th chapter, I mean, again, we keep talking about sin. And you think after a while, you know, you start abhorring it, hating it, trying to, trying to get away as far away from it as you can. But the thing is that God displays the fact that these people fall in love with their sins. And here's one thing with the no. The difference between a righteous man and a wicked man is not the fact that that neither that one is sinless. That is not the point. It's, it's not the it's not the fact that one has just never sinned. And he's just a perfect person. That is not what makes a Christian a Christian. So no, we are not higher than another in that aspect. The difference is that one person abhors their sin and one person loves their sin. And why would one person abhor their sin while the other loves it? The reason we hate our sin is because we love God. And because we love God, we hate all that distracts us, all that hurts us, separates us, and kills our relationship with the Lord. And when you truly love God, you learn to truly hate evil. And so there, there is no reason a Christian should ever look for an excuse when it comes to why they, they, they are falling into sin constantly, why it's habitual. See, God does not judge us of our past. He judges us of our presence and our future. See, look, if you choose now to live in sin today, then what you have done, you're setting yourself up to live in your sin tomorrow. And I'm, I'm not saying that you can't make the decision tomorrow to change, but my point is make the choice today because there may not be a tomorrow. So if you choose to live in sin today and you pass tonight, you have chosen an eternal life separated from God. And, and there are a lot of people who live on this earth comfortable who saying, I, if I say, there are so many people comfortable saying, if I die today, I would go to hell and that is okay. And that is never an okay thing to think, think about. The, the one day of sin is one day deciding you are perfectly fine living in eternity away from God. One day of sin is saying that you are perfectly fine living eternity in hell. That is what it is. And you have to think about it like that. Yes, God is forgiving, but again, don't live life trying to, to munch off of God's mercy and grace. Because understand, mercy, mercy does run thin when somebody doesn't truly submit themselves to what mercy takes. Mercy takes submission to Jesus Christ. Mercy takes favor. Mercy takes you being in right relationship with God. But if you have no relationship, then there is no mercy. There is no salvation for your sin. Because what you have done is that you have took yourself from under the cloak that covers you when you choose to not repent and give yourself to Jesus Christ. Now, yes, God will forgive anybody. And I mean that. The problem is not any and everybody will put themselves in position to let Jesus Christ forgive them. That is the truth. There are some people who, who, who can change and could change, but they will not change because they've decided in their heart not to. And the more and more and more you, you deny the Lord, the more and more and more you make it hard for yourself to accept him. 
that I was blessed to be raised in a household where my parents were were, were, were treated me right and, and and taught me about the Lord and and even then I still ran away from him not because I, I didn't I didn't know him I didn't think he was real but I loved the world but until I started to realize what the world really was until I learned to love him more than the world that I was stuck in my sin. But the day I finally learned to love God, I learned to finally hate my sin. And it took me some time. It took me two years. It took me two years to finally abhor my sins the way he did. Even then, I still held on to some things. And to this day, there's things that I still fall short on. But I'll let you know one thing. When I fall, I don't look and say, ah, man, it's okay. I'll do it again tomorrow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When I fall short, I say, never again. And I may fall short again the next day or two, three, three days, four days later. But I promise you, my goal is daily to try and walk in righteousness because I know if I walk in righteousness, I will not be walking in sin. My goal is to respect my Lord and show his light on this earth. My goal is to further the work of the kingdom on this earth as long as I'm living. As long as there's breath in these lungs, I want to use them to glorify the name of Jesus Christ. That is my goal. But how can we glorify Jesus when we are steady glorifying our sin? So my point to you today is to realize if you're saved, walk like it, live like it, be the example people need. If you are not saved, I love you and Jesus loves you far more than I ever could. And I'm going to try to love you my best. I want to do anything and everything I can for you, but understand, man can only do so much for you. So if you really want to experience true love, if you really want to experience true care, if you really want somebody who will always be there and never leave you, his name is Jesus Christ. And he died on the cross without ever meeting you. Yes, he knows who you are, but you don't even know his dude. Many of us before being saved never knew his name. But you have the opportunity today to get to know him because what Jesus will do is that he will take all those sins of your past. And he will put all his righteousness on you. So all that sin will be left behind. And now it's just the cloak of righteousness wrapped around you forever. But you must accept it. You must learn to deny your sins, deny your flesh, and just accept the Lord. Because what we're doing is we're saying yes to Jesus. And <coughs> <coughs> Dang it. Ah. We're saying yes to Jesus and no to the world. And so I ask you to say yes today. Let us pray. Dear God, I just want to say thank you for another day, Father. Thank you for all you've done and you will do. It's the morning time for me, so I'm going to go ahead and just say thank you, Lord God, for the morning. I thank you for waking me up today. I pray that today will be a blessed day, a wonderful day, a day, Lord God, where you can be with me in all that I do. I pray that you'll be with all your people today, Lord God. Watch over us, our families, our friends, all that we care for, Lord God, our dreams, our goals, our desires. Be there with us. But Lord God, let us put it all in your hand. Submit ourselves to you. Submit our lives to you. Submit our ways to you. Be the disciples we've been called to be, Lord God. We ask, Lord God, that you'll use us. You do your work in us, a mighty work, Lord God. A work, Lord God, that is unexplainable because people, Lord God, cannot imagine the things you're going to do in our lives. So we pray this, Lord God, in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we all pray. Amen. Well, y'all. Y'all do a new vlog, man. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I pray you enjoy the vlog, man. Hey. Say that I stay in